think that's what us dads need to do as we move along through life. Remind me of the old story about that stagecoach that was hiring some teamsters to drive a mountainous path through the wilderness. It was a pretty rough track, and they couldn't keep good health that was safe. So they put the shingle out on the front porch of their establishment and started taking applications. Well, interview time came around. First gentleman come in there and sat down, and the manager was going through all the interview about qualifications. And he asked him a question. He said, so how close to the edge can you safely travel this mountainous path? He said, I can do it. I'm skilled. I can get within three feet of it and not lose control. So the manager thanked him for his time and sent him on his way, called in the next guy. He asked all the questions, and that last question he asked was the same. How close can you take this stagecoach full of cargo and passengers safely by the mountain edge? He said, oh, man, I'm very skilled. I can do it. I can get within a foot of it and still make it through it. They thanked him and sent him on his way. Last man came in. It was the last one of the day. Went through all the questions. And when the question came up about how close he could drive to the edge, he, he shook his head and he looked at the man. He said, I'd stay away from that edge as far as I could. So I'm not getting anywhere close to it. And they hired him on the spot. It's about keeping us from danger. Not about how close you can get to the edge and pull out. Right? I have a dad like that. and Sure thankful for it. I'm sure he was pulling his hair out as me and Kim grew up. Uh, we're close now as siblings are, but goodness, it was a rocky road through those adolescent years and kiddo years. Always loved this story. I guess it could have been practically mine, but I don't remember it in fact. But she might tell me that it actually happened, but uh, mother was home and heard a scream from the bedroom where the two kids were. And she ran in there and the seven-year-old boy and her, his little two-year-old sister and the little two-year-old was in there and the boy was just hollering that his sister had pulled his hair. Well, she comforted him and said, baby, she's only two. She doesn't understand that it hurts. So he dried his eyes and everything settled down and mom left the room, went back to cooking. Shortly, she heard the little girl scream. So she ran in the room and the other little boys just sat innocently. What's going on in here? He looked at his mom and smiled and said, she knows now. <laughs> so maybe, maybe dad had to navigate a, a few of those things along the way.